Hey guys, welcome to Data Tech, your one-stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at attention mechanism. Attention mechanism is a concept that revolutionized the learning in deep neural network models. It improves the performance in tasks like image captioning, machine learning translation, speech processing, etc. The main idea is that when output is getting generated or a part of output is getting generated, it doesn't have to process the whole input at once, but it can selectively focus parts of the input and uh, generate parts of output uh, se sequentially. So how it works, let's dive deep into it. So what is attention? Attention is a cognitive process of selectively concentrating on one or few things while ignoring others. That is what we say. Be attentive on something, right? So it cognitively selects part of the inputs and ignore others. The idea behind attention is that to enable the network to focus on a specific part of the input while ignoring others, that is instead of treating all input elements equally, attention model assigns a weight to each input element based on its importance and then use these weights to compute a weighted sum of the inputs. The weights are learned during the training process and can be interpreted as a measure of relevance of each input element to the task at hand. So let's understand it. For example, this is the sentence, the animal didn't cross the street because it was too tired. Now, let's say the task is we need to learn a encoded representation of each word. So here I need to learn an encoded representation of the animal didn't cross the street because it was too tired. So for all the words, I need to generate an encoded representation. Now, if we see the animal didn't cross the street because it was too tired. It who was tired, the animal was tired. So it has dependency on words like animal and street more than the other words. So while generating the encoding of uh, one word, let's say it, it can selectively give more weight or more focus to words like animal and street. So that's the main idea of attention. In this case where we are generating encoding of the same sentence, it's called self-attention. We will see that in more details, but the idea is that while generating the encoded representation of a word, it is selectively focusing on some words and giving more importance to some words than the others. So that is what attention is. While generating an output, we can focus more on selective parts of the inputs and finally a weighted sum of the important inputs will uh, become my context factor. So what is that? We will see that in more details in the upcoming slides. So let's understand how attention originated, right? In this video, we will look at the complete process, how attention originated and how attention is used these days the with some tweaks like self-attention and how attention kind of mechanism can also be used in images and all. So first of all, let's see how attention originated. So for machine learning translation, the first model that was proposed was encoder decoder or a sequence to sequence RNN or LSTM based uh, machine learning translation network. The way it works is there is an encoder component and there is a decoder component. The encoder component process the entire input, right? It will process the entire input. And let's say that here we are solving a machine learning translation task. So the input is love is all that matters. And the translation of it should be yaar sabse jada maine rakta hai. So the encoder will process the input that is love is all that matters and encode it into a context vector, which is the last hidden state of the LSTM or RNN network. So the last hidden state can be considered as a context vector. This is expected to be a good summary of the input sentence. Now the decoder will take this context vector, which is the last hidden state of the last input uh, vector. The encoder passes the summary that is a context vector to the decoder, which translates input sentence, input sentence by saying it. So basically the context vector will be received by the decoder it, and it will generate one word at a time. So it will use the context vector and generate the first word and the first words uh, hidden state will go to the second uh, unit of the LSTM along with the context vector it will generate the second word then third word fourth word fifth, fifth word till end of uh, text or end of line end of sentence is not achieved. Now what is the drawback of this approach? The main drawback of this approach is pretty evident right if the encoder makes a bad summary the translation will also be bad. And indeed, it has been observed that encoder creates bad summary when it tries to understand longer sentences. So in long range dependency, that this summary is not uh, very efficient. And here the way to summarize is just basis of the last hidden state of the uh, input vector. So this context vector is nothing but the last uh, hidden state of the input vector. And if this context vector is not very good, that is the encoder network is not able to summarize the sentence 
well then the decoder will also suffer and also as i was saying if the sentences become large it becomes a problem and all so uh, the rln cannot remember long sentences due to vanishing and uh, exploding gradients although lstm which are long uh, long short term memory they are better at capturing long term uh, dependency but still it's seen that when the context when the sentence become very large or the context is very large uh, there is forgetfulness and the performance goes for a toss if the context vector is not very uh, well summarized how the new proposed was the first attention model to solve this problem and uh, what solution he came up with was that a simple and elegant solution was uh, that all the input words can be taken into account in the context vector by giving relative importance to each one of them so we can actually not just consider the last hidden state but we can give we can consider the hidden state of all the input words by giving selectively uh, more importance to some words so for example love is all that matters what matters love matters so that word will have more a stronger dependency on love and love will have on matters because we are talking about love love is the main thing we are talking about in this sentence so the idea is that when the decoder model will generate the sentence word by word it will take into account the last decoder state right now it will take the last decoder state and as well as search for a set of position in the encoder output state which are more relevant to the next word it is going to generate this idea is called attention that is previously what we what we were doing the encoder will see the entire input generate a context vector now this context vector will be passed to the first state of decoder it will generate a word and the uh, hidden state of that decoder first unit will be passed to the next unit along with the same context vector it will generate second word third word fourth word till the end of sentence is reached uh, now but with the, with the attention mechanism what we are suggesting is we will definitely use the last state of the decoder but to use the context vector we will give uh, weightage to all the encoder hidden states and there will be a weighted sum how it, that weighted sum will be calculated what is the mathematics we will see into it but every time a weighted sum will be calculated of, on the hidden states of the input vector and one context vector will be derived and that context vector will be used with the last hidden state to generate next word and again the same process will continue every time uh, a weighted uh, sum over the input hidden states will be taken now once we have understood the theory behind attention mechanism let's understand how it mathematically works so uh, let's assume we have a encoder decoder neural network which for the task to solve is machine learning translation for example if the input is love is all that matters it needs to generate the translation which is pyar sabse jyada maayne rakhta hai and let's assume we have a bidirectional lstm network for the encoder as well as decoder now whenever each input word xi will be passed its hidden vector representation hi will be generated and since we have tx number of words let's assume we have tx number of words so number of hidden states will also be h1 h2 h3 up to hdx so for each input word a hidden uh, vector representation will be generated so basically love is all that matter for love one hidden vector representation will generated for is for all for that and matters so oh, here tx is equal to 5 now if it was a simple encoder and decoder model only the last state which is htx would have been used as a context vector but what bhavdanu emphasized was we don't have to just use the uh, last hidden state but we can use the uh, hidden state of all the input words by giving selectively more focus to some input words while generating ith output right so how is that achieved now uh, how to selectively give more weights to some Uh, input right so for that we need to find some weights and these weights are actually learned during the process so these weights are learned by a feed forward neural network using the following mathematical equation so basically for each output word love is all that matters first pyar will be generated and then sabse jyada maine rakhta hai so one word at a time will be produced or at a time only one word will be generated now for each word we need a context vector and we have seen that we just want use the last hidden state but uh, the context vector can be weighted sum of all the Uh, hidden states or all the input vectors so ci which is the uh, while generating the output word yi the context vector ci can be given as a weighted sum of all the uh, input vectors so j can vary from 1 to tx and alpha ij is the say of jth word in predicting the ith output right and uh, once we have the alpha ij we can just multiply alpha ij with hj uh, and uh, for the words which 
we want to give more focus or we want to focus more for this particular output word the alpha ij will be high and for other words which we want to ignore alpha ij will be close to zero now how is this alpha ij calculated to understand alpha ij first let's understand eij what is eij so eij is the output score of a feed forward neural network that comes by passing decoder's last state and hj which is the uh, input vectors uh, hidden state to an alignment function so basically what we are doing we are uh, so while generating the output word at position i what do we have available we have the last decoder state available right so we can take the last decoder state and pass it through an alignment function with one input at a time so for example with the first input vector uh, for the first word we will have its hidden state h1 we can pass h1 and s i minus 1 through an alignment function we will get e i 1 right which is the say of first input word in decoding or generating the ith decoded word right so eij is just uh, obtained by passing in last decoder state with each and every input is hidden state one at a time through an alignment function and this alignment function can be something like 10h function and uh, so you do doing this for each input word we will get one uh, value which will be ei1 ei2 ei3 up to eitx right now the, we have a value which is a number which is unbounded now what we want to do is we want the total weights to be one right so basically these are unbounded values we want to take it in such a way that when we uh, add all of them it sums up to ones and the best way to do is by passing it through a softmax function so that is what the eij is that is the say of each input word in uh, producing the ith decoded word uh, is passed through a softmax function and finally we will get alpha ij's and if we sum all the alpha ij's that is given one i if we sum all the alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha, uh, alpha i1 alpha i2 alpha i3 i up to alpha itx will become one so and once we have the alpha itx we can just get the context vector and this context vector along with the last hidden state output will be used to produce the next decoded word so this is the main idea of attention mechanism that is instead of using the just last uh, hidden state as a context vector we can actually uh, learn the weights that how much to focus on each input word which input word to focus for current uh, word to decode and uh, this uh, can be done through an alignment function by passing it through a softmax and learning the weights and this many folds or improves the accuracy of tasks like machine learning translation image captioning speech processing etc next is the attention mechanism is so powerful that now it's used in uh, with many tweaks in large language models as well for example bird transformer they use a concept called self attention what is self attention so attention can be thought of as a, of as a superset and self attention is a uh, tweaked version of it if attention is used at some layer it takes input from the activations or state of some other layer for example in the last example we saw in machine learning translation the decoder uh, while generating the output of decoder we were attending towards the input of encoder right there are two components right so that is what it's mentioned it in attention it takes input from the activations or state of some other layer decoder was taking from encoder layer while in self attention the attention looks at the input of the same layer where it's applied so the first example when we started the video i was giving that we have to produce a encoded representation of each word by uh, giving self attention to some of the previous words right so this in self attention it can give attention to the same layer same thing in case of attention two components are needed for example like encoder decoder or two modalities are needed for example text and image while in self attention it doesn't necessarily connect two different components it can be applied within one component only for example in BERT architecture we use the concept of self attention right so there's a difference between attention and self attention self attention can be applied within the same layer or within the same component while in attention there are two components encoder decoder or two modalities image or text image or sound or so on and how the idea of attention mechanism is used in images so how is attention mechanism used in images in image captioning kind of task we are given an image we have to caption it a woman is throwing a frisbee in a park so how attention mechanism is used is in image captioning kind of use case the idea is that cnn filters there will be cnn filters will try to extract representation of different part of the images right and this representation can be called annotation vectors or filters 
when it comes to caption generation and attention mechanism applied gives selectively more importance to some location of the image by giving more weightage to the annotation vector of those locations compared to other taking into account the last generated word in the caption for generating captions corresponding to that image for example if i have generated till a woman is throwing a i can use the hidden vector representation uh, till this point right whatever be my activation till this point i can use that vector and then i can do an alignment with different portion of the images and i will find that at till this point if i whatever i have generated has more alignment towards this part of the image so you can see this part has more alignment it's more brighter than the remaining part and the frisbee will be generated by putting more attention in this part of the image so that is what in attention mechanism apply gives selectively more importance to some location of the image by giving more weightage to the annotation vector of those location and also taking into account the last generated word in the caption so this is how the attention mechanism works in images uh, for task like um, image caption generation so with that we have come to the end of this video we have you understood how attention mechanism has revolutionized the learning in deep neural network models and made uh, the task like machine learning translation speech processing image captioning very uh, easy to perform and also we have seen that how this idea of attention is used with tweaks like self attention and using images and so on hope you liked and enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such videos bye